Hey everyone and welcome back to Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. On this video, we're progressing our arena rank to 5A by defeating Chartreuse. And we're gonna try out a bunch of new weapons on him, so let's head over to the part shop. We're gonna go ahead and buy the burst handgun, the MAE-211 Sampu for the right hand. And then for the left hand, we're gonna get the laser lance, and uh, I love this thing. It is awesome. So really happy with my testing on this thing. Pick that up for the left hand. For the left shoulder, let's try... Hmm, let's see, what do we wanna go with? Maybe we'll try this diffuse laser cannon. Let's try this. And then for the left shoulder, we'll go ahead and try out this like stationary laser thing. This laser turret, the VP60LT. Let's go with that. Oh, almost bought two things. All right, so there we go. Bought everything that we want. Let's get it installed. So right hand was the handgun or the burst gun. Burst handgun, whatever it's called. There we go. And then left arm is laser lance. Right shoulder, the diffuse laser cannon, and left shoulder is the laser turret. All right, should be all set. So, 5A, Chartreuse. AC is Umber Ox, an independent mercenary who arrived on Rubicon around the time that the Coral Response was rediscovered. Held to be a member of Branch, a hacktivist collective active in the Rubicon system. Chartreuse is said to have dealt a critical blow to the closure, closure system during the plot to attack Station 31. Branch is made up of a rotating group of four people, and Chartreuse is believed to be the second oldest of the current roster. 87,000 currency for defeating him, and four OST chips. Evaluation program number five, rank A. Subject AC, Umber Ox. Call sign Chartreuse. Commencing evaluation. Main system. So you can see we're we're dealing with a tanky boy, with lots of firepower. So. I'll start with the shield like normal. And then check out this freaking laser lance. Watch this. <laughs> How amazing is that? Oh, I love it. Alright, the handgun, not as impressive. Laser lance, oh, a little slow. I guess I should charge that thing. Laser lance! It just closes the gap so fast, it's ridiculous. Oh, I've got to charge again. Alright, yeah, once again, the handgun just doing very little. Boom! Alright, boom! Oh, I should have charged again. I'm really bad at charging that thing. Alright, give him laser lance! Oh, I missed. Alright, new shield. Alright, we're about tied right now. Put up a new laser dealio. Alright, charged at that time. That seemed a little bit better, but still a little underwhelming. So yeah, I'm not super impressed with any of these other weapons, but laser lance is obviously awesome. And I'm just using the right shoulder one too far away. It's my big issue. Oh, okay, well that, that made me change my mind about it a little bit. All right, let's do that to finish him. Oh, yeah, all right. The charge is where it's at. And I keep, just kept trying to use it at range because I don't know, it just strikes me as like a long range weapon, but. You want evaluation. to get up close, but the laser lands. Oh, I love it. I freaking love the laser lands. All right, so not not the 
the best outing. It took a minute and 50 seconds, but we got it done. We kind of had like a hodgepodge of weaponry, but it got the job done. And I was misusing the right shoulder one till like basically the very end. Uh, but there we go. We got our currency. We got our four OST chips. We're up to 17. Uh, we got the AC data for Umber Ox. And we got a new emblem. Alright, so let's check out some of the new armor parts that we can get. So, starting with the head units, we've got this HD033M barrel. Retrofitted head part developed by Balaam. This high-end model is a strong performer with a hefty energy footprint and features an intimidating spider-eye design chosen to suit the tastes of the Red Gun's commander. Uh, so AP goes up a little bit, attitude stability goes up, system recovery is about the same, but you're going to take on more weight and more EN load. I don't think that those are worth it, to be honest, for the extra weight and EN load. I mean, if you could take it, I suppose you may as well, but I don't know. I don't think it's worth it to me. It does increase scan distance, though, which is a kind of a random thing. So, yeah, not super impressed. Alright, and then we have... The VE44A, heavyweight head part designed by Archibus ADD, incorporates cutting edge technology to enable defiance of the PCA. This model's distinctive curved armor plating provides solid defense against damage of all kinds. So AP goes up, but attitude stability down and system recovery down. It is more weight, it is more EN load. And it does lower boost speed slightly. So yeah, not super impressed with this. Scan effect duration goes way up to 12.6 seconds though, and scan distance goes up. But, oh, I'll pass on that. Uh, moving on to core, we only have one new one. The VE40A. Heavyweight core part designed by Archibus ADD, incorporates cutting edge technology to enable defiance of the PCA. This model features excellent generator output adjustment and solid defense against damage of all kinds. So uh, AP goes up, attitude stability goes up, generator output goes up, which is awesome. Weight only goes up a little bit, and EN load only goes up a little bit. I think this one's worth it. it oh, but look what it does to boost speed. I was gonna do it, but that's a huge hit to our boost speed. Yeah, I'm gonna pass then. If it wasn't for that, I would have taken it for sure. There's the advanced stats. Alright, well, that's a bummer. I thought I had a new one. Moving on to the arms. We have the VE46A. Heavyweight arm parts designed by Archibus ADD. Incorporates cutting edge technology to enable defiance of the PCA. This model's distinctive curved armor plating provides solid defense against damage of all kinds. Uh, AP goes up, arms load limit goes up a lot, uh, but firearm specialization goes down a lot. It's going to take on more weight and more EN load. Not for me. Oh, and it just destroys your boost speed. So yeah, definitely not that. It looks kind of cool though. I do like the design. All right, so no on that. And then we got legs. Uh, new bipedal legs, the VE42A. Heavyweight bipedal leg parts designed by Archivist ADD. Incorporates cutting edge technology to enable defiance of the PCA. This model utilizes hover movement for increased loading capacity and greatly improves stability. So yeah, AP goes up, attitude stability goes up, load limit goes up a ton. Weight is actually not too bad, but EN loads on the higher side. Once again, it's gonna trash your boost speed though. And to me, that's not worth it. Uh, then there's uh, a new tetrapod part, the LG033M barrel. Tetrapod leg option developed by Balaam. The design division was all but held at gunpoint to produce a model that satisfied the Red Gun's demand for a highly mobile AC platform also capable of supporting heavy weaponry. So if I go back to Tetrapods, this is probably a great option. High AP, high attitude stability, high load limit. Weight's not crazy, EN load is high though. And boost speed goes way down, but if you're using a Tetrapod, you're all about that hovering anyway. So if I go back to Tetrapod, I'll probably probably use this but we'll have to compare and other than that nothing really new here 
So, nothing, n no new armor that I want to pick up, unfortunately. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.